Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge. In this particular video, we are going to learn about how to use arrow functions in JavaScript. Arrow function is basically a shorter way to write functions in JavaScript using the arrow symbol, right? So it is very useful for simple tasks and uh, it is very useful for making the code cleaner and easier to read, right? So let's understand that how we use arrow functions and how its syntax is. So let's go to our Visual Studio code and start the concept. So we are on our Visual Studio code and in our JavaScript file. So what was the traditional way of writing function? Let's first understand that traditional way. Uh, so traditionally we were writing it in this format. We write the function, then we write the function name that is let's say add. And inside of it, uh, we normally give the parameters if it is required, like a comma b, and then we make a curly bracket, and inside of it, we write our logic, right? So uh, let's write a small logic a plus b, and that's it. So this was the way of writing what functions in a traditional way, right? Now, what difference the arrow function have? Arrow function in the arrow function we actually don't write these function we don't need to write this function keyword we simply write the declaration that is uh, either var let or const so uh, let's write the const here and then we name the function whatever the name it is like it uh, the name of the function is add right then we put a equals to mark here equals to then we put a bracket like here what we are we were doing we were writing the name of the function and then next to the name we were uh, uh, starting the parenthesis right but here what we do we write the name of the function and then we put a equals to and then we actually write the parenthesis inside of it we give the parameters that is a comma b and then for the uh, before uh, putting this curly bracket what we do we put the arrow mark that is equals to and then a smaller uh, symbol right okay then we put a curly bracket and then we write our logic that is a plus b and whatever we want right so this is how we actually write the arrow functions this is the basic syntax of it so what is the syntax we write the declaration spelling is wrong why know why it is happening okay then the name then equals to then we put the bracket name of arrow function then we put the uh, parenthesis then we put a uh, arrow and then we put a curly bracket this is how we write the syntax of our arrow functions i hope you get it right okay then uh, let's move to understand that how this arrow function work with a single parameter with a single parameter so single parameter right so uh, in the single parameter there is only one parameter so you can skip this parenthesis you don't need to write the parenthesis if you are giving a single parameter so this is the main concept behind telling you that uh, why we use single parameters and what difference this single parameter makes right so uh, let me give you an example of it first right uh, if I write const and double then i put a equals to mark here now normally we make a parenthesis but since i'm going to give a single parameter so i can simply remove it and write that parameter and then put an arrow and then write your logic that is x into 2 right so this is how you actually create your single parameter arrow function now if i call it then console.log and then I'll say double inside of it I am saying 2 right so what will be the output let's see uh, what is happening identifier add has already been declared okay 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 there are two different functions and they, they both have the same name right that's why it is creating an error now you can see here I am getting a value 4 why because I have put this function where I am sharing a param argument to and that 
2 is taken here as a parameter and si since it is a single parameter we are not using any parenthesis so the syntax get quite changed right and then we are putting up the logic and since it is a single line logic so we also don't need to write the curly bracket 2 right so this is how your single parameter works now let's move with no parameter no para meter with no parameter function how we write it uh, for that purpose actually what happens then uh, you uh, you can include the parenthesis but that parenthesis can be empty you don't need to write the um, uh, any parameter inside of it if there is no need of it right so just write a uh, const greet equals to then put the parenthesis here then uh, arrow and then a curly bracket or either if it is a single line of uh, code or a logic you don't need to write a, a curly bracket so i'm writing console dot log And inside of it, let's write something like hello, right? So, this is what our function is. This is how you write the arrow function with no parameters. Yeah, here we have we keep the parenthesis, but inside of that parenthesis, we don't write anything because there is no requirement of it, right? And if I call it, let's check the result of it. You can see the result get printed that is hello right and that hello is basically console.log hello this is the logic we have written inside that greet function so, right so uh, this is how we write the arrow function with no parameters i hope you get it now if there are multiple lines in the code right so how we write the arrow function for that for multiple lines right so let's understand that uh, const multiply let's create a function then what we do we put a equals to then we put a curly bracket then we put a arrow and then we write make a pa curly bracket here okay okay so this is parenthesis this is curly bracket and so how we write it first we write the declaration then we write our uh, function name then we put a equals to then we put a parenthesis here then we put a arrow function so arrow here and then we write a curly bracket here right okay now uh, let's write the code here that is let result equals to a into b and then we need to return something we need to return something so we are returning the result right okay so if the function has some multiple line of code we need to use a curly bracket and then the written keyword this written keyword is compulsory right so this is similar to the normal function but it is just a shorter way of writing fine okay so if i call this function that is multiply and then inside of it i am giving Okay, we have not given the parameters oh sorry a comma b right so this is the parameter and based on it i am performing my logic and i am resulting the value of that particular logic is stored inside the variable result and we are returning that variable right so let's give 4 comma 5 so the value should be 20 let's see uh, what it is showing it is showing us 20 right so yeah we have written the right uh, syntax and this is how we write for the multiple line code so this is the main concept the whatever the thing which was required for understanding the arrow function now one more important thing which is uh, needed to understand uh, is that how arrow function performs with the this keyword so let me first remove all these things uh, there is no use of it now okay so arrow function with this keyword we are going to understand this this is very important very 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 important concept and please try to understand it this may take uh, some time or may create a confusion but believe me it's not that tough it's very simple to understand right okay 
now uh, i for the with the normal function first i will use normal function and we'll try to uh, give you example that how normal function work with the this this keyword right so uh, normally if i create a object named user and inside of it i uh, write name as piyush and then i write a key name greet and inside of it i am putting a function right and inside that function i am saying console dot log and then i am writing hello hello then i am saying this this dot name right this dot name now if i call this uh, user right and inside that user if i'm calling this greet so i need to print first no c log and uh, well there's no need to uh, ask for console because we are already getting the value as console right so yeah so uh, if i say user dot greet what do you think that i will get we are getting hello piyush why i am i have just written this dot name i have not written the name piyush here but it is fetching the name piyush why just think about it i am giving you a time did you get anything that why i get this piyush here because every time when you use this keyword this actually takes you to the main object which is outside that function right it is it takes you the parent object which is this user now this contain the details of everything that user has now if you go through this now you user has two thing name and greet now this also i am having two different thing name and greet inside of it now when i am using this dot name then it is showing the result which you will get after using user dot name so it is similar to that right so this is how actually you uh, in the normal function you fetch the values that is user and inside of it that name right so this is how this works now if you use with arrow functions not the traditional function like in the uh, normal function uh, normal uh, arrow function what syntax you put you simply need to remove this function and after this parenthesis include a uh, arrow and this is how you write the arrow functions inside an object right now if you are using this keyword just guess that what value will i get will i get the piyush here let's see let's see i'm just getting hello i'm not getting the i'm not getting what i'm not getting the name right i'm not getting the name why just think about it you don't know okay so this is my duty to tell you okay so this this basically in the arrow function this does not refer to user because arrow function don't have their own this theek okay? hai try to understand arrow function does not have their own this right so it takes this from the outer scope right which is usually the global scope so here what this is doing this actually takes from the outer scope so if since this arrow function do not have its own this so this uh, the parent of this uh, particular this keyword is basically this user and it this takes the values from outside the just the outside from the parent element right so the parent object is user so this is taking the values outside from this parent object that is that is what that is actually the global scope this because this was the main character right user was a main character outside of it there is nothing present so this is taking the its values from the outer that is global scope and outside there is nothing present uh, which values uh, is actually related to the name that's why we are not getting any value here so the only thing which is required to understand is that your arrow function do not have their own this and wait 
where arrow function in arrow function this uh, it takes this from the outer scope which is usually the global object right so the here this particular function this particular arrow function do not have its own this so that this here is the uh, its parent is user and this takes the value from outside the parent right uh, and that's why it it get redirected to the global scope and it is not getting any value but when we were using the function right when we were using the traditional function the traditional function have their own uh, this keyword that's why the parent of this this was this greet and the outside this particular parent object is your user and that's why it was fetching the values of all the user elements that is name and greet and it was showing this dot name equals to piyush so this was all about arrow function i have covered all the concept related to the arrow functions i hope you get every concepts clearly if not then uh, you must uh, rewatch the video and practice all the concept by your own so thank you for watching uh, let's meet in the next video where we will talk about a new term and a new concept thank you so much for watching goodbye